What has happened in one year of GDPR so far and what impact did it have on businesses? So it's been a very long year, right? We started out uh, last year with having a, a good compliance program in place, but of course it has become better over, over, over time. We have become um, even, even more professional in our efforts. Um, but we have also, I think what is very important, we have also looked beyond GDPR actually, because as you know, there are a lot of uh, privacy regulations outside of, of Europe that are uh, starting to build up in, in Brazil and in California, India and other places. Uh, and we have been able to use some of the tools and programs that we have developed for GDPR uh, for, for these other uh, jurisdictions and laws. So to, to, to that end, it has been a really good year. Um, and uh, well, we're still refining, I think, GDPR. What consequences of the GDPR have to be talked about now? So I think, um, again, I, I refer to my, to my previous answer. I think as a, as a, as a consequence of GDPR, um, I think the, the question would become to which extent can it be used by other uh, countries, by other jurisdictions. I also think maybe some of the effects of the GDPR are um, to some extent maybe, maybe, maybe overreaching. I mean, there has been reactions that it's uh, aiming at, uh, at big companies, but it's also uh, overly complicated for small companies. So I think uh, uh, a consequence could be to, to, to adjust that. Um, I think we see that there is a lot more cooperation within the data protect protection authorities that has developed over the last year. And I think um, th that will be a natural consequence of GDPR, that a closer cooperation between um, between agencies uh, is happening, but you will also see that between individual entities of, of, of a company uh, in, in each jurisdiction that they become closely aligned. How do you predict the GDPR's development in the future and what would your advice be? I think that uh, people will become used to their, the protection they have under the GDPR. I think ultimately for the individual it is a very good thing because they have received a lot of rights, they have received a lot of power actually, and they have, um, uh, they have seen that the companies become much, much more transparent. I think for companies too, I think, and we heard this a couple of times during this conference, I think um, one of the, the biggest effects of GDPR is that it's, it's not really a compliance. Companies don't handle, don't deal with GDPR because they want to be compliant, they do that too. But it's also part of a good governance and a, and a, and a good data governance uh, um, program of each company. So I think that uh, what we'll see on the consumer side, people will continue to be happy when you're a consumer because you have large rights to, towards big companies. On the, on the company side, I think you have, um, the, you will see that um, much cleaner data with companies, uh, much more transparent data even for the companies themselves than, than in the past. So, Ultimately, I think the, the, the positive effects of GDPR will prevail.